Hey, cute people. Yes, it's another haul. And this is a collective haul. I think this is like two trips. It may even be three trips. But yeah, it's a collective haul. Things that I just brought home and put down somewhere and just picked it up because it was in a way and I need to do something with it. So I figured I'd share this with you. Um, as always, because I always think there's something that I can remind you that you need or, you know, whatever. But anyway, yeah. So this is Dollar Tree. Now, if you've been going to any store, really, it doesn't matter whether it's Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walmart, Big Lots or whatever, no one seems to have any type of cleaning supplies. I mean, they just all wiped out. It makes you think like, well, what were people doing before um, this pen, this thing going on? <laughs> were you cleaning your house before? Like now you got to buy up everything, all the Clorox, everything is gone. But I did manage to pick up something because I wanted to try something a little different for mopping the floors and cleaning down the house. Now, when I lived in New York, I used to buy this all the time. Not this size. I can't remember what size it was, but it wasn't this size here. And that is Fabuloso. Yeah, I was really surprised to see it. I think the first place I saw it was Dollar General. Yeah. So this is the Passion of Fruits. I already opened it and smelled it. And it smells really, really good. But one thing I remember about... Mm, fabuloso that's a lot different um is that as soon as you would open up the container you would just smell it now i smell this but i'm just curious to know if this would be like the fabuloso that i know of because the fabuloso that i used to use when you would lay it down or use it in your house whatever it was most likely for me it was mopping the floor right i would smell this all through my house for a couple of hours not all day no but a couple of hours this stuff smells so good and this is a new scent for me so i'm really looking forward to smelling what it smells like and using it and then i also picked up some almond hammer baking soda this is something i definitely needed because it's just great to have in the house i remember when i was a little girl everybody I knew had this in their refrigerator because they told you that it would make your refrigerator smell fresh and that wasn't true because it didn't work. But I'm going to use this because my shower cap in the bathroom has some mold on it. I don't know if I should throw it away, but before I do, I'm going to use a baking soda and apple cider vinegar or just vinegar a mix to see if I can get the mold out it's just a little bit and this is also good too if you sweat a lot and your clothes which i believe is not really the sweat it's the chemical or a chemical in the deodorant that um leaves that yellow stain in your clothes especially your whites you can use a baking soda and vinegar um paste and it does work it'll come right on out if you don't use it it won't work well it won't come out trust me i've had that problem when i was younger I always get sponges. They have different type sponges, different um, quantity in a pack sponges. I always get these type here. Um, I think I should be able to find these with more than two in the pack because I go through these an awful lot. I'll use them for a while and I will throw them away. Of course, one will go in the kitchen to wipe down the counter and the other ones will go in the bathroom and use them however they need to be used i got these two these reusable wipes i always buy these um and keep them in the house um, these are really good to have you can use them to clean all types of things it's a multi-use and i usually use it pretty much for um cleaning like my front door or my front door and my back door you know wipe down things when to wipe down the refrigerator you know keep them for a good while and just throw them on out so i got that and what else did i get for the house cleaning wise that's it pretty much for the house cleaning i saw this and i thought it was so cute thankful grateful blessed it's just a jar they call it a vase i don't know if you can really see the writing too much but I thought this is really, really cute. Um, I'm thinking about getting some flowers and putting in here and putting it up somewhere. I don't know. Um, I'm still working on my house. And when I get things put together, then this will go somewhere really, really cute. Looking all nice and things. I picked this up. I thought this was really cute. It's a um, fly swatter. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> I have... Um, and it's a pink color. There it looks more like a washed out pink, but it's like 
like a mauvey pink. It's really, really cute. They had more than one. I'm giving this to my mother because um, I had another fly swat I was going to give her, but I thought this was really, really cute. Um, so I'm going to give this to her and get me another one. Hopefully they do have them, but I just thought this was really, 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 really cute. Yes. And also I picked up, I told you every time I see these things, I'm going to pick them up because I just want to have them in my front yard. And this time I picked up a llama mama. <laughs> Isn't she cute? All the llamas always have these cute little eyelashes. But I got this. It's just a plant stake. And I have a um, plant in the front of the house. So that's where this is going to go. Because right now I have, I think, the bunny rabbits, which were for Easter pretty much. So here's the llama for spring. And I thought she was cute. So I figured I'd go ahead and get that. And something else that I picked up, um, these are cable organizers. I got a pink one. And a blue one. And if you can kind of see what it looks, what it's for, it wraps, you wrap around your cable. Let's see, I think it is show you here. It's like your headphones, see, and any type of cable that you may have. You know how they're just all over the place. So if you're traveling, you can wrap the cable around this here and just put it in your bag or something so it won't just get tangled and be all over the place. So I got those things there. Something else that I got too, which I had been looking for, and I saw someone haul these a long time ago. But remember, I told you in the um, Dollar Trees that I shop at, they don't get things right away, but I really, really wanted these. I saw them and I said, I gotta have them. I couldn't believe it. And these are artificial succulent magnets. You know, they're artificial and they're succulents. See? I thought they were so cute. Can you see? I got all three. I don't know how many they have, but this is the ones that I saw. So I got these. I can't wait to put them on my refrigerator because I do love plants. I have quite a bit of plants. I'll show you some things that I picked up for plants, but something else that I got too. And my intention was to put this in the area in which I keep most of my plants, well, really all of my plants, but it's not going to fit anyway. I'm not sure where I would put it. It's the little things in life. And I thought that was so cute. I'm not really into farmhouse much, but I thought this was really cute. Where am I going to put it? I don't know. As a matter of fact, I think maybe I'll put it on my refrigerator, you know, with a little magnet because I have all kind of magnets already on the refrigerator. But I thought this was so cute. So I got that and I think I'll put it on the refrigerator. I think it could be cute right next to my succulent magnets. And then... I picked this up. Why? I don't know. Because I already have apples. But I thought this was cute or something different. And it's just a gold apple. What I'm going to do with it. Where? Oh, you can see my setup. Oh, goodness. See all the junk in front of me. But this is my little apple here. <laughs> yeah, my setup. Everything is so junky in front of me. You don't need to see all that. But anyway, yeah, I thought that was really, really cute. The little apple. Isn't it cute? So I got that. And every time I see these, I always pick them up. This is nothing new. And I know, I believe they had the um, plates and cups and glasses that were made out of this pattern. That would have been cute, but I wouldn't go all out like that. But I just got the oven mitt. The oven mitt. The pot holder. Okay, because they do have this is a pot holder. And this is an oven mitt. And then I got the towel. I like to get these sets and I like to get the vibrant ones. If they have loud, pretty vibrant ones, those are the ones that I like to get. I just think they just make the home feel really nice, your kitchen anyway. And I just, just like them. I change them out because they do get dirty and I have a bunch of them. I just fold them up and put them away. I have enough of them. I can just probably throw those in the washing machine along with the ones that I had when I was in New York. Yeah, but I like them. Always, always keep some packing tape in the house. Yeah, it's not really an awful lot, but for a dollar, can't be too bad. I don't know how good this packing tape will be. And yes, there is some good packing tape and there is some bad packing tape. And hopefully I got the good packing tape because I got a lot of stuff to pack. Yeah. 
So now let me show you some things that I got because I told you I have a little garden here in the house. So I'm going to show you some things that I bought for my little garden. And yeah, you stay right here and I'll be back. I'm just looking at all the stuff that I have here. Like I told you, my eyes just wandering. I'm connecting with you guys though. I'm connecting with you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, now cute people, I told you that I have some plants in the house and I've been going crazy. Like every time I get a chance to go out, I've been going crazy buying more plants. But I love them. I love them. I love them. Now, I got this here and I don't know why I picked up another one of these because I already have starter pots. Um, and I don't really plan on starting anything, but I picked these up. As a matter of fact, um, there's someone I'm supposed to be picking up some cuttings from so I can put them in here. Yeah, some cuttings from her. And if I get them, I'll put them in there. And I've been going pot crazy. You should see all the other pots I bought from Walmart and Target. So pretty. But I got these because um, they're great and they're only a dollar. And these do have holes in them. Yeah. And these here... A dollar. Now let me tell you, these these are starter pots, which is four point seven inches. These here are planters, and this is five point five inches. And let me see here. You have to put some holes in it, which is okay. Um, and and the green is not actually the green that you see. This green here, let me see. Yeah, it's that it's not that kind of green. There it looks more sea foamy, but this is pretty much like a sage green, but it's so pretty. I really, really like it. I already know what plant is gonna go in there. This here is light blue. And and it looks a little bit lighter there. I don't know. Mm, that might be about right, maybe. Cause it's more like um a slate blue maybe because it has some gray in it and then i got this one which is gray for sure but it's darker than what you see and i got this one here which i don't like these type of planters because the water doesn't see through but i got it it's a dollar and and i got those for and i think the time that i got these i picked up probably five or six of that same day from either Walmart or Target. I tell you, I'm going plant crazy. Then I picked these up here. What do they call these things? They are calling these things a basket. <laughs> so simple, a basket. So I picked up two of these, a black one and a white one. Not really sure what I'm going to do with them, but these are really great to have. I think what I'm going to do maybe is put some... Um, like all the headbands and things that I have that are cloth so they can fit in here. I don't know. I'm going to do something with it, of course, but I got that. And then let me show you these other things I got because I had to get these here, which I thought was cute. And I picked this up too. Fine. I'm not sure. Um, sometimes you see things, you're like, oh, now I'll go ahead and get it. But I'm, but in a way, I'm glad I got it because I think I can find a use for it. It is a candle holder, but I'm going to use it for something else. Um, with my plants, yep, something with my plants, of course, of course. With my plants. But then I got these other planters too, which I really like. These will be fantastic for outside. And when you look at, well, no, not these particular ones. I got some from Dollar General a few years ago, a couple of years ago, and they're plastic, but they look like they're ceramic. So as you can see, I got a blue one, a green one, and a red one. I think these are perfect for the summer outside. But there's not much of anything I'm going to put outside because I don't want any snakes put to my home. And we have snakes in this area. So let me show you some other things I picked up and I'll be right, right back. Okay, now something else that I picked up. I hate when I have so much space around me. Oh. Anyway, um, was some, what do they call these? Stones, decorative stones. These I want to put um, in the trays of my plants. And some on the top. So I got these stones here. 
Um, these are the same. I thought I got different type, but it looks as if I got three of the same type stones. So these will go on my plants and some in the tray to come, to, you know, to help with the humidity of for the plant. And then I did get this one here. Um, can you see it? These are black stones. So I got some of these. Do the, these are pretty much ones that I want to put on top of the plant. So I got some of those. And then, of course, you know, you're not going to Dollar Tree without picking up some beauty stuff. So I did get some beauty stuff. And I got these, which I thought was a great price. And these are 40. These are panty liners. I always wear panty liners. I have for years. Um, so I got these for a dollar. I didn't think they were too bad um, for one dollar. And also, I picked up this facial cleansing brush. I already have one. Didn't even use it yet. So I don't know why did I even go and get another one one thing they should do um, um is sell the uh, the brushes separate yeah because once you use this and it's no good to you like because you need to clean the brush because the brush does come off so they should have some mm -hmm. So cute and so little and i haven't even used the other one but i saw this one i guess because it was in a different package i figured i'd go ahead and get it but it's pretty much the same thing and then i picked this up here i know a lot of people are doing face shavings i don't do that but i'm gonna look into it especially with this hair i have a facial hair remover so it easily removes unwanted hair it works on your upper lip your chin and your cheeks so i guess you just rub it yeah you just Glide it up with, and it's supposed to take off unwanted hair. And to clean it, you dab it with alcohol soaked in a cotton ball. And I picked this up too. You see stuff, you just buy it. This is a, by Spa April Bath and Shower. It's a charcoal soap and sponge in one. Now, you remember, I just hauled the sponge um, from Ulta, and I haven't even used that. But this here is the soap and the sponge all in one. It's for your face. And I think I'm going to try this tonight, maybe. Moisten the soap sponge until a rich lather is formed. Apply the soap as you would regularly in a bath or shower. You may recommend using circular motions on the skin. Rinse the soap off and let it dry. Avoid contact with your eyes. Mm-hmm. So this looks like something really interesting. It was only a dollar. I picked this up, nothing new, but I had just seen it in the dollar tree near me. And yeah, I want to try it out. And I've seen it in Walmart and such, but I didn't want to get it then. So when I saw it for a dollar, I said, hey, I'm going to try it and see how I like it. And, you know, when you see something for a dollar, you make yourself feel good by saying, well, it's only a dollar. So I ended up picking it up and I cannot get it out. Let's kind of see what it looks like. We'll show you what it looks like, which I know you already know what it looks like. But if I had known I wanted to show you this, I would have had it open, but okay. It's by Spitzbergs. Ooh, it feels really nice. Ooh, I like how it feels. Does it have plastic on it already? And you got to take the plastic off? I don't know. But this is it, what it looks like. I think there's plastic on. I think I got to take this plastic off before you use it, but I'll figure that out. And I saw this. Why I got this nail polish remover? I think I got it because it has that spill-proof pump. Yeah, see all that you dab-dab and it comes up. I don't know why I got it because I got two bottles right <laughs> there. And I already have one of these dispensers I bought already trying to figure out what I'm going to use that for. And so here I go with another one. I always pick up the cotton rounds. Yeah, you get um, 80. Yep. I think I picked up two. Someone stole one of them. They didn't steal it, but they took it. And I'll always stop and get a mask, which I... I'm trying to get back into, but I'm kind of losing my way. But I got the Freeman... Um, 
purifying grapefruit two pack sheet mask. I got that. Anytime I see yes to carrots, I'm getting it. So I got this um two step face kit. One is a brightening pill, and then other is a facial scrub. We love yes to carrots, and like I said, here's another one. This one here is for blueberries, super blueberries, recharging Greek yogurt and probiotics three in one mask scrub and a cleanser. And I just love these colorful packaging they have. Ooh, it just grabs my eye, and I'm over there buying it. Okay. My videos are always long these days. Now, something that I picked up, and I'm not really sure how I feel about. Hmm. Did I bust it open? Or did it just open? Well, one of these spilled open. I don't know. Uh, okay, well, this is the sweet almond milk exfoliating body wash. And I can smell it really faint, but it smells good. I'm wiping it on my shirt. I don't know. Let me see. Because it's spilled open. This thing busts on the side. Maybe the the, the um container must be broken because it has um so somewhere around in here the container must be broken. But when and how did it break? Because it wasn't spilling in the bag. So I guess I must have done something. But anyway, so I'm going to show you some other, now I got this um, wash all on my hand. So, oh, I forgot to show you something else dealing with my plants, but I'll show you. And then I have this one here. This is Banana Beauty. So that one was Sweet Almond Milk, and this one here is Banana Beauty. And I have also Cocoa Rose. And I love the packaging. Tell me the packaging isn't cute. I love the packaging. And let's see. Okay, now what happened here? Can you see? Did somebody poke a hole in it and try to spill it? I don't know. I'll tell you. I should have looked at it when I bought it, but I didn't. Let me look at this one here, Coco Rose. I have another one too. Let me see. This one looks good. I don't know what happened with the Banana Beauty, but this one looks good. I'm not gonna open them because I gotta clean up a mess over there. And then I have this here, the Mango Melt. Yeah, the packaging is really pretty. I can't wait to put it in the shower so it could be part of the decoration. Yeah, and these are by Bolero. Um, two time concentrated and they're all exfoliating body washes and I don't know how good they'll work but we'll try them I purchased something else I had meant to mention it to you in um, this haul here that I didn't like and that was the shower melts I think you call them from Bolero they didn't work so when you go to Dollar Tree and you see those in Dollar Tree leave them in Dollar Tree because those shower fizzlers sizzlers whatever they are they don't work. As a matter of fact, the next time I do a Dollar Tree haul, I'm going to show them to you. Because if you've seen them in the store, you'll know what I'm talking about. But leave them in the store. And another thank you, people. While I'm showing you all this beauty stuff, let me show you this too. I thought it was really cute. They always have some little bags. Life isn't perfect, but my makeup is. I thought this was so cute. I always pick up these little bags. I do use them, but I don't need as many bags as I pick up. And I thought this was really cute, too, because look at this here. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Tell you the truth, I just noticed it to tell you the truth. But they always have these little cute tote bags. They're so cute. It's really small. And it's really just something you're going to hold in your hand because you can't even put it around your shoulder, which would really be cute if you could. But, yeah. Made out of plastic. This was so cute. I'm supposed to be going on a trip to the casino whenever they open up here in North Carolina again. So I'm going to take this and just carry it around and look cute. <laughs> and then I did pick these up too because these are very important. You got to have some of these things here for your plants. And all they are, they call these um, planter sources. 
right? So I, I, I have a lot of plants. So I got a lot of these so that um, I could put under my plants, put the pebbles and all that stuff. Um, how many of these? I, got? I only got two. Yeah. So I got two of the 10 inch. I got two of the eight inch. And then I got six, four, three. I'm saying I got three, four, one, two, four. One, two, three. Okay, there's six in here, but I got three of them, so yeah. So there's six in each of these, four in these, and three in these. So these will keep me for a long time because I have gotten a lot of plants and I am going to get some more and I need to propagate some so I'll have some more. But yeah, yeah, I love plants. It just make your home look so beautiful and you guys know that I'm still trying to get my house together. So when everything gets together, they're going to look beautiful. But that's all the stuff that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I don't know when's the next time I'm going to get to Dollar Tree. But I'm going to tell you one thing. It needs not be anytime soon. I'm trying to figure out where am I supposed to look. So before I end the video, I'm going to look here. Hi, cute people. Then I'm going to look there. Hi, cute people. Then I'm going to look here. Hi, cute people. Then I'm going to look here. Hi, cute people. One of these are all right. <laughs> I don't know, no. but anyway, I'm going to end this video now because it has to be close to one o'clock in the morning, close to, and I'm supposed to be doing quite a few things tomorrow, which if I don't go to bed, I will not be doing so. I'm going to end the video now, do something, maybe relax a little bit. I don't know. But I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Let me just say, if you got to the end of this video with me and my zaniness and you have not subscribed, I hope you take the time to subscribe to my channel. Just subscribe. It costs you nothing to do. We'll have fun. I hope I didn't do what I thought I did. But anyway, we'll have fun. But anyway, listen, subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Don't worry about where I'm looking at because I'm trying to figure it out. But I do want to say thank you so much again for stopping by and watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next. And I want you to do nothing but share and spread love.